when the world has no hero and the world needs one, become one. There have always been one time when people that stand up for what I mean, right, fight the beast, fight the evil. You can be the one. Fight the monsters that destroy the planet. Fight the monsters that can destroy everything. Maybe it looks that you don't can do something to change it. But that's also what they say to Malcolm X, to Mohammed Dandi, to Martin Luther King. Anybody can make a difference. If you want, you can make a difference. You can do it, I can do it. Anybody can do it. You have only to stand up for what we right. There is always somebody that holds your torch if you stand up for where you believe in. There is always somebody that say, you've been right. How can I not see it? You have to stand up for where you believe in. If you want to succeed in what you want to do with your life, you have to believe first in yourself. If you don't have one belief in yourself, nobody wants to believe in you or hold you. You have to believe any idea, any change begins by belief in somebody, in you, in where you stand for. If you not believe even in yourself, nobody wants to listen. But if you believe in what you say, people want to listen. Stand up for what we write. It stands to follow the status quo blindly. Maybe one person cannot make a difference, but one person can be the center of one whole solution of the problem. Don't say, I cannot make a difference. Say, I can make a difference. Any day of any man, billions of living sensuous creatures be murdered only for a stake. We have the highest estimate of CO2 index of the whole world. Since the prehistory, so there's the time of the dinosaurs. That is terrible. The reason is animal agriculture. The, oh, the whole, you can change it whole, you can make it good. If we stop with our selfish, apathetic, narcissistic, satanistic rituals. This 2060. It is not your right, based on your traditions, your beliefs, and your habits, to ignore other life forms that free them so that you can slave them, rape them, torment them, and abuse them. That's not what rights are about. That's injustice. Human beings can easily survive on plants only. So if you take the life of another being, it is a form of injustice. Human beings be not only the way, only beings that cares on this planet. If you look at from the survival of the planet, human beings be worse than parasites. The way we now act, we can change it. We can stand up for what we right. We can make, stop the status quo and become the heroes. Become the rational beings. Become the good beings that we always claim to be. You can save, anybody can save something like 12,000 animals in their whole life by simply stopping with eating animal products. That's easy. I can do it, you can do it. Anybody can do it. And then we can make the world to a perfect place. We can stop world hunger. We can 
stop the abusing of other animals that don't want to be harmed, just like you don't want to be harmed. Take occasional on the suffering where you spare yourself the sight. The victim is nothing to the vandal. The vandal don't care what other, any other victim thinks. Pacifism is generally considered to be a moral position if it comes to fine, to violence. That pacifism is a good position is if it comes to uh, to uh, problems, it uh, states a law. But in its essence, pacifism is nothing more than a willingness to die and let the whole world die only for the pleasure of world's most biggest and dirtiest criminals. One single sociopath, armed with nothing more than a knife, can easily exterminate a whole city of pacifists. And that's the reason that pacifism cannot be always the answer. People that don't want to change, want to be selfish, apathetic, narcissistic, want only that the whole world give about them. Why? Why, I ask you, so dare give? Why shall I give or you give anything about them? If you don't give about others, the planet, other earthlings, about only about yourself, ego, only about what can I do for me? Why in the whole world give about somebody about you, dark personality? The whole world is not so oppressed with you that they are not you be so special. They don't think, oh, that's a human, that's perfect, this, we don't think that we have to watch it. No. Compassion begins by the dinner table. Why would you eat on a daily basis? You don't get pray for love and nice and talks and do nothing. If you want to be a hero, and the world needs more heroes. You have to go in action. You have to become activist. Yes, it can sometimes bring something irritating by people, and some people can be annoyed. But that's the first form of exception. People don't. You have to all imagine this. I remember this. All forms of exception have to pass the three stages. First, be mocked and ridiculed. Because people like always to make fun of things that I don't understand. Especially if it comes to be kind to somebody else. But that is a nice thing to do. Kind being to other living beings. Second, it being violently opposed. Because people accept that, that, that they have to change. But they will not. And they lie and manipulate. Make propaganda up. To let the status quo just like it be. Finally, lastly, being accepted as self evident and people do if they find it themselves. Why not go to an in a train with with thousands kilometers per hour? Go to the end. And stop with making stupid excuses. But you don't want that somebody make by for tormenting you. And go the vegetables eliminate great apartheid narcissism. We can make the whole world better. We can give a lot of rain. I can stop with uh, polluting the seas because the meat industry polluted the seas with a more, fast more where efforts than most other industries. Maybe the fish industry is a little bit worse. But the meat industry put lots and lots of shit from the land animals in the sea, polluting it, making it so, so extremely acidic. 
that it don't that there are billions of life forms in the world in the sea die off. And you don't and they've been actually vital for the for the sea. Um, whales being actually also vital for the sea because they are put the protoplankton that been little plants that been um, responsible for them for something like 70% of all our oxygen in the world but we breathe and if we destroy them they're being one of the most biggest uh, cost of of oxygen producers, these be little beasts, little uh, plant beasts, oxygen producing protoplankton. Um, we kill a lot of uh, our oxygen, and we don't can long live with plants. If the as if the seas die, we die. If the forests die. Also, a big problem, and it is also the living place from the animals that live there. Stealing is stealing, no matter how the victim of it be. If you don't want that, I go in your home and steal your television, steal your car, steal anything from you. Why you don't think that it is okay to take the rainforest of Uran uh, Uktams away from you? Why you think that? Because it don't affect you. Take occasional on the suffering where you spell yourself the sight. Be careful for throwing stones in somebody else's throat. It is now your time to stand up. Become vegan. It is not hard. It is not hard. The only thing what you mean is make believe. If you find out, you become vegan, step out your big dub and become the real rational beings that you want to be and that you claim to be. You see that there may be a lot of different things that you still can eat. You can eat beans, lentils, legumes, you can make from the rice, put a little bit of soy sauce, a bit of black pepper, a bit of curcuma, you have fun. A very nice vegan rice burger. Or you put a little bit more salt if you if you want that, or a little bit sugar if you want that. You can make your own recipes with it. You can also eat beans, lentils. You have also a lot of vegan burgers. Eat that and stop with polluting the planet. Meat is not a luxury. Because rich people eat it. R because rich cocksuckers in the first world eat it. Meat is one barbaric food. Just like the ones eat human meat. Human flesh. The flesh of another being. What's the difference between the of the human or a cow or chicken? Or a pig, or a dog, or a cat, all be living beings. And heroes don't eat the bodies of innocent living beings that don't have harmed them once in their whole life. When darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away and the true become visible.